It's Monday, January the 4th, 2021. Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to Spontaneous Conversations. The purpose of this podcast is to inspire you to start thinking differently. I want you to develop a mindset of transformation. Now, we know that thoughts are things, and what we think about, we become. So think about who you really want to become, and let's work toward making that dream a reality. Now, this podcast has no paid sponsors, so I'm relying totally on you. I'm relying on you to get the word out. I'm also relying on you to click that subscribe button below and the bell next to it to receive notifications. My plan for 2021 is to do a podcast every Monday to kick off the week with something new to help transform that mindset. Now, today's topic is quite powerful. It's the pandemic is really a paradigm shift. Again, think about this. The pandemic is really a paradigm shift. So what what is a paradigm shift? A paradigm shift is a fundamental change in the approach or underlying assumptions that we have. That's according to Mr. Google. A paradigm shift is a fundamental change in approach or underlying assumptions. And we're surrounded by paradigm shifts. This right here is a paradigm shift. We went from the old landline telephones to a smartphone now that practically does everything. When I was in school, my math teachers, all of them, every one of them told me, you will not carry around a calculator the rest of your life. Well, guess what? A paradigm shift. So let's think about this pandemic and how this pandemic has become truly a paradigm shift. Think about assumptions. What are some of these assumptions that have changed over these last 10 months. An assumption is a challenge to your belief system. When a paradigm shift occurs, that assumption becomes a challenge to your belief system and thus you become vulnerable. So how does that really impact what really happens there? Well, think about how it impacted you. Think back to January, February of 2020. What did you think about when you went to the grocery store, when you went shopping? Maybe you went out to eat once, twice, three times, or like myself, four or five times a week. Going to movies, you were going to sporting events, and kids were in school. And then the pandemic hit, and all sorts of things are starting to change. And you might go, well, that's kind of true, but think about this and the paradigm shift that occurs. Look at countries like New Zealand or Thailand, where they're back to what they consider normal. They had a big, both, both countries had huge New Year's Eve celebrations. Watch the, the 2021 New Year come in. And they were all celebrating, and they were hugging and kissing and screaming. But we weren't here in the United States. What's the difference? The difference is how you approach that paradigm shift. I'm not saying one is right, one is wrong. This is not a political statement, just a way, an observation here. But in New Zealand, for example, from what I'm told from people that I know that live there, yeah, they're back to normal for the most part, but they still can't travel out of the country. And it's very limited the travel allowed to come into the country because of the global pandemic. So that in itself is a paradigm shift. Today, when you go to the grocery store, when you go shopping, when you see other people and they have masks on, do you see them differently? I do. If I see someone without a mask on, I tend to shy away from them. I'm not eating out anymore. In fact, where I live, we just opened up today the ability to eat out again, to go into a restaurant and eat out, but the restaurant is at 25% capacity. And if you go there, you must provide the restaurant uh, owner and manager your name, 
your email address, and your phone number. Why? Contact tracing. It's part of a database. That too, again, is a paradigm shift. Sporting events here in the United States, we've got the college football playoffs going on. We're starting the NFL playoffs. Basketball is back, both college and pro. The schools, for some schools, they have sporting events. But in many of the places, it's just the players and the coaches and the trainers. There are no fans in the stands. There's cutout of people in the stands to give that, that illusion that the stands have people in them. And they're piping in uh, cheering sounds. The paradigm shift. And what about schools and your work? Do you work from home still? That in itself is a paradigm shift. I mean, businesses used to say, corporations would say, no, you will never be able to work remotely. And guess what? They had to make that paradigm shift to be able to work remotely. So what is normal? Well, I think Whoopi Goldberg has the best definition of normal. And she said, normal is a setting on a washing machine. That pretty much sums it up. That's what normal is. So when you think about getting back to normal and doing things differently, today do you think twice before going out? I think if, if we, we had a, a focus group of people here in the U.S. and a focus group of folks in Thailand and in New Zealand, when we ask them how they feel about going out to eat again and, and are going in, in areas where there's a big crowd, how do they feel? Because we've been involved here in the U.S. in the pandemic for over 10 months now, and it'll be well over a year that we'll be involved with this pandemic, I think our approach to going back into crowds will be different than what you saw in New Zealand. Why? Because the pandemic lasted longer here, thus the risk level changes too. That also creates that pandemic change. So, the, back to being normal. How do you define normal? I want to propose this to you. That everyone, everyone should, capital letters, should define normal differently. Because what is normal to you is what makes you unique. So reflect back from January 2020 in February, and then think back throughout the spring and the summer, the fall, and now that we're in winter and it's 2021, how has your normal changed? What are you doing differently? Maybe you have adult children, or maybe you have a parent still alive, and you're not able to visit them. Uh, how has that changed? How did your holiday celebrations change? And what did that teach you? Did that show you that when we do get back to however you define normal, that you may hug someone a little bit longer or a little bit stronger? You know, one thing that we did in, did happen during this paradigm shift is we used FaceTime and Zoom a whole lot more because though we couldn't go visit, we could electronically talk to people as opposed to talking on a phone and just hearing a voice, now we're communicating visually. We get to see some of that facial expression, some of that body language. So the big question for 2021, as we move forward, as you think about what is your normal, as you think about what you're going to do once this pandemic starts to subside, the big question is, are you focused or are you afraid? Think about that. Are you focused on what you want to create so that when this pandemic is over, you will have that in place? And part of what you'll have in place is to help you in case another pandemic like this ever occurs again. Or are you afraid? Are you fearful? We all know what the acronym FEAR means. It means false evidence appearing real. We've heard a lot of that here in this country. But fear also is an acronym for two other things. One, you can forget everything and run. Or you can face everything 
and rise. When you create that mindset transformation, you are creating a transformational mindset where you will face everything and rise. A person who changes slowly with all the distractions is a principled person. Are you a principled person? What is your normal? What is your 2021 going to be? When December 31st, 2021 comes to a close and January, 20, January 1, 2022 emerges, what are you going to be able to say when you look back on the year? Were you focused or were you afraid? Were you a principal person? And I will tell you right now, I am focused. I am so focused that when the clock strikes midnight on December 31st, 2021, I'm going to look back on this year and say, yes, I did. Thank you guys for joining me today. Again, this podcast has no paid sponsorship. I'm relying on you. So please click that subscribe button below and the bell next to it to receive notifications and join me again next Monday. Until then, go out and make it the best week and enjoy a week full of spontaneous conversations.